welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Chandas. Today we are going to be making cauliflower cheese. Now, I don't know about you, but this screams home cooking to me. My parents used it as an absolute go-to for when I was younger, and it's really nostalgic. So perfect if you're getting like a little bit of uni blues where you're missing home, missing your mum, whatever. Make this, you'll be transported back. It's really easy, really cheap to do, and super, super duper yummy. Give it a go, I'll go over the ingredients now so we can get started. You're gonna need a whole head of cauliflower, pretty obvious ingredient for cauliflower cheese. And then for the sauce, you're gonna need butter, flour, milk, and then cheese. Of course, seasonings, salt and pepper too. All I'm doing to prep the cauliflower is stripping down the leaves, like so. Then attacking it with my knife, getting little florets like this. You want to make sure they're about bite-sized pieces so that when you're eating it, it's just a bit easier. My cauliflower is nicely hacked up now and I'm just going to add it into a big pan of boiling salted water for about six to eight minutes. Cooking time will vary depending on the size of the florets, so make sure you check it with the tip of a knife. If it goes in easily, it's done. Whilst my cauliflower's cooking and we're in the background, I'm going to make a start on my cheese sauce. All you need to do for that is get another pan over, over like a medium heat. I'm just going to chuck in my butter to melt it down. Oh, it's nice and soft. So once my butter's melted and it's starting to froth a little bit like this, I'm going to just chuck in my flour, all of those, and then give it a good stir, okay? Turning my heat down a little bit, actually. Should form this like paste thing. Um, that's perfectly fine. And now you just want to cook the flour out for like a minute or so so that your sauce doesn't taste like glue. Very slowly add in my milk. If you add it too fast, oh, I'm going to get it all over my counter as well. If you add it too fast, you will get a lumpy sauce, and that is, well, it's not very nice. It's really starting to come together as a nice creamy sauce. So in goes the last of my milk, then I'm just going to bring it up that up to a gentle simmer so it thickens up beautifully. I've drained my cauliflower, it's nice and tender, just letting that sit aside while I finish off my sauce. This is just coming up to being really thick and gorgeous, look how lump through it, free and silky smooth that is. All we're going to do now, this is just a basic white sauce at the minute, which can be used in loads of recipes, but all I'm going to do now is chuck in all my cheese like so and just let that melt away it is so important at this stage to make sure you season the sauce really generously otherwise your entire dish is just going to be horrible and bland so some salt goes in i like white pepper in my white in my cheese sauces really good pinch of that stir it through make sure you taste it before you mix it with the rest of the stuff as this is like the last stage you can season the sauce so my sauce is now ready, it's gorgeous, it's tasty, it's cheesy. Over the cauliflower it goes. And then we're just going to give that a nice mix through. Now you could serve this up family style or you could just scale it down so that you get one portion. But I think that the best way, best student way around cooking this is to invest in these little like takeout pots. They're really cheap, just pick them up at like Wilco's. And then you've got individual little portions and you can just chuck them in the freezer for whatever you want. Your own little ready meals. I like to chop the last bit with cheese so that when I cook it, it goes on nice and gooey. The cauliflower I used was a little bit on the small side, so I only made three portions, but usually you can get about four. But for the ones that I'm chucking in the freezer, I've just put what it is and the date I made it on the lid. And I'm just going to close these bad boys up. So I've got them on a later date, but for this one, I'm going to eat this now. So I'm going to chuck that under a hot grill so that the top goes all nice and bubbly and yummy. So here we have it. My cauliflower cheese is out from under the grill and looks so freaking good. Just bear in mind, if you are cooking it from when it's frozen, it can't go in the microwave because it's in those metal, metal, metal dishes unless you want your microwave to explode. Um, but it'll take about half an hour in the oven at about 180 to fully cook through, you want it to be bubbling, you want it to be piping hot all the way through. But I'm going to tuck into this now. I'm definitely way too lazy to go get a plate, but that's fine, it is on the washing up. So 
Oh, I'm just going to get a little bit of cauliflower. Just look at the cheese. Oh, so good. So hot though. Mmm. So much better than being ripped off by the supermarket. I'm going to pay like three quid, four quid for a stupid ready meal. Make your own ready meals. Chuck them in the freezer. They're there whatever you want. Brilliant accompaniment to like a roast or to be honest, good enough on its own, maybe with a few chips or something to dunk into the gorgeous cheese sauce. But a real flashback for home and just so perfect in every way. I'm going to eat this up because I want to. So I'll see you soon. Bye.